I want to talk now about the Antifa guy who took an axe to the office of a Republican congressman and got a very light penalty and, in fact, even got his axe back. Now, um, whenever I hear the word axe, I have to laugh because of its... And, and Debbie's going to be like, Dinesh, this is supposed to be a serious topic. I know where you're going with this. I'm going to the idea of he axed me. He axed me for this. He axed me for that. And of course, that has a double meaning. He axed me could mean, oh, wow. <laughs> Debbie's trying to block me from continuing with this line of thought. <laughs> I'm being censored. I'm being canceled on my own podcast. <laughs> my producer is exercising... Uh, dis discretion to censor me. Let me keep going and let me return to the topic and not go down the axed me detour. Oh <laughs> Tempting though it is for me to do that. Um, because as I, honey, as I've told you, this is not, this is not a racial thing. When I was in India, we had kids in my school who said axed, he axed me. So when I heard it here, I immediately realized that it's not a race, it's a class phenomenon. Evidently, the word ask is extremely difficult for some people and they have to go with axed. So I preguntar. And then if you, <laughs> and then if you say, no, it's ask, they go, yeah, exactly, axed. <laughs> They don't hear it. That's the funny thing about it. Okay, back to Mr. Antifa. This is Thomas Alexander Starks, 31 years old, from Lisbon, North Dakota. So this guy took an axe to the office of Senator John um, Hoban uh, in Fargo uh, on December 21st, 2020. So this guy is Antifa all the way. I mean, remember <laughs> Joe Biden? Antifa's a myth. There's no such thing as Antifa. It's only an idea. <laughs> well, it's, if it's only an idea, you got to go tell that to Thomas Starks because Thomas Starks is a guy uh, who writes um, while he was waiting sentencing. He goes, I am, and in all caps, Antifa. I am Antifa. So get it? Joe Biden, here's a criminal. Uh, and here's a guy who is claiming that he is Antifa. And in fact, he's saying that Antifa is what made him do it. In fact, he has all these rants about the fact that he's going to use, he's going to, quote, attack fascists. He's going to attack the, quote, nationalism that promotes genocide to fuel a war machine. He says that Republicans are, quote, the worst humanity has to offer. Now, this guy comes up for federal sentencing. And uh, let's think about it in the context of the January 6th cases, because think about it. The, the January 6th shaman guy, this is the guy with the bull horns. He got a 41-month sentence for obstructing a federal proceeding. Now, he didn't obstruct any federal proceeding. The federal proceeding proceeded the very same day. Um, and this was a guy just prancing around. That's all he did. 41 months, over three years for doing that. And then earlier, he was held um, in detention. At one point, he was in solitary confinement. Now, this guy, the Antifa guy, uh, federal guidelines say 10 to 16 months in prison. That's what he should have gotten. But what did he get? Probation, a fine of $2,784, and the FBI gave him his axe back. Now, this guy actually was boasting about it when he got his axe back. He posted on social media, essentially sort of, guess what? The FBI returned my axe. <laughs> and he has a right to laugh. Because, because his case is a mockery of the system. It's a mockery of the idea of equal justice under the law. This is what we're talking about. When we speak about the inequity applied based on ideology, you see it right here. And if you say, well, those are different cases. One is, you know, democracy in action. The, the shaman guy tried to block democracy, Dinesh. I can kind of hear the left saying this. Well, okay, let's take the Antifa guy's case and, and simply alter the facts slightly. So we take the uh, take exactly what Thomas Starks did, taking an axe, walking to a, a senator's office and smashing it with the axe. Let's say that was done by a proud boy. And he did it to, let's say, AOC's office or Ilhan Omar's office. Do you think for one minute that the response would be the same? Do you think that he would have gotten 10 to 16 months as the federal guidelines call for? Or probation and a small fine. And by the way, proud boy, here's your axe back. So 
This is the kind of stuff that drives you, me, nuts. Why? Because you begin to see that justice is not being applied evenly in any meaningful sense of the term. Apparently, when the FBI returned his axe, they thought, listen, the, his axe was a form of political expression. We better give him his axe back. So this is the FBI, um, the chief agency of enforcing justice at the federal uh, level. I think the FBI has to go. It has to be taken down. This has to be part of the... We need to campaign on it. Let the American people know in advance. We're going to take down the FBI and get rid of it. And we're going to... Rest I think this theme of restoring equal justice under the law uh, has got to be a critical one for the GOP going forward. This theme is more important, along with censorship. These are probably two of the most serious challenges we face today.